Okay. Yeah. All right. You doing another trick on me? Yeah. You tricky today, boy. What's going to be in here? Welcome to Saturday. It is quite possibly the most beautiful day ever. I'm coming up here to get the eggs. Titus is making some grilled cheese sandwiches for lunch. He's gonna use some of that ghost pepper cheese on some of them. I'm gonna walk around the little chicken porch here and see if we even have any eggs before I go in there because they've been laying in the afternoons here lately. Hello everyone. That's why I didn't come out here this morning because when I've been coming out in the mornings there were no eggs and then whenever we would come back in the afternoons we would have eggs but not yet. I don't see any. I hear you, Roosty. So we let them out of the coop for a long time yesterday while we cleaned it. They still did not put themselves up. Tyler and Jonah came out here and put them up, but yeah, they'll eventually get used to it. It's just taking them a little while. About what time you think you'll be laying them today? Do you know yet? Not yet? Okay. Still no Easter egg or eggs, but it should be any time now. It's September the 2nd today. I can't remember if it was the first or second week in September whenever, you know, they would be to the age that they could start laying eggs. So, should be any time now. We'll get some greens and blues and whatever other colors they want to surprise us with. Here's Miss Turkey. Lots of leaves are falling, y'all. Lots of leaves. Spider. Let's go in here and see what he's doing with these grilled cheese sandwiches. No, you open it. Oh, me open it. Okay, ready? It's a creature inside a, a creature? bug. Oh my goodness. Open it. It's the scarecrow. He's going everywhere. He's doing tricks now. <laughs> Mainly, do you want a grilled cheese sandwich or peanut butter and jelly? Peanut butter and My head. Oh yeah, that one's that one's bigger than your head. I can't get time for pig and pop. Not yet. It's stem. It's still got a very green stem, so it's still got a lot of growing to do. We've got seven or eight bell peppers right now. I counted them the other day. I can't remember if it was seven or eight. One, two, three, and then over here there are like three more little ones, and then a little one here, seven. Oh goodness, there are a lot. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. If you count the teeny tiny ones. I think we got most of the okra that was ready yesterday, and I don't there are a few I could go ahead and pick, but they'll be okay until tomorrow. <laughs> Manly's testing out the clubhouse Jonah built. Is it nice? All right, y'all, it is almost three o'clock now, or it might be just a little after, it's 3.01. So y'all know yesterday, we went to the farmer's market and we got some of those apple cider donuts. Those things are amazing, y'all, absolutely amazing. They're like, they're really moist, but they're the cake-like, they're the cake donuts, you know? So they're cake-like, but really moist, fluffy. They're just wonderful. So I thought about making apple cider donuts, but Titus asked me the other day about making an apple cake and he mentioned it again this morning. So we're going to make an apple cake. This is a vintage grandma's recipe apple cake. Let me get my apron. Not to be confused with my mama's applesauce cake. That's another one, which is also amazing. 
but today we're doing the fresh apple cake. So we have three apples. I'm pretty sure these were Pink Lady or Cosmic. They were Pink Lady or Cosmic, one of those two. But you can use Granny Smith, whatever. You can use whatever kind of apple you want to use. So we have the apples, we're gonna need cinnamon, nutmeg, all spice, oil, sugar, and eggs. We're gonna put coconut in ours. You don't have to put the coconut, you can leave that out. And we would put some pecans or walnuts, but I'm all out of those. We used them all when Titus was going through that kale salad phase. He still likes it, but we haven't made it in a while. But when we were making that very often, we used all of my pecans and walnuts, I think. I'll double check and make sure. I might have some hidden in there somewhere. Not that I hide things like pecans, but anyway, there's the coconut. Yeah, I can't find any pecans or anything, so we'll just leave that out this time. So the first thing we need is three cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of cinnamon, Sissy's putting in one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. I'm putting in a teaspoon of allspice. Had the wrong one in my hand. And we need a teaspoon of nutmeg. Let's see, how much salt did we need, Sissy? A teaspoon, one teaspoon. Okay, in this one, we're gonna put one and one quarter cup of oil. There's a little bit left in that one, we'll get out of there. And we need two cups of sugar. Okay, we're putting in two eggs. And when Sissy gets that mixed together, we're gonna slowly add this in to the dry ingredients. This smells like fall. Putting in two teaspoons of vanilla. The last thing we're gonna put in the cake mix is a little bit of apple cider, about a quarter cup. Okay, we'll get this mixed in and then we're gonna chop up our apples real quick. Okay, we're gonna put in a little bit of coconut. One more time and that'll be good. About a quarter, quarter cup to a half cup of coconut. The cake is done. It smells very apple-y and fall -y in here. It's wonderful. It smells like a bakery when you walk in. So we're just gonna let it sit over here and cool while we eat supper. We're having rib country tonight. When I was just a boy, there was a old lady that a uh, very nice, sweet woman could really, really cook one of these right here. No icing or anything like that on it either, no. yeah. Apple cakes a lot of times didn't have any glaze or icing or anything like that. Really good. Tasted just like that right there. Just like it? Mm-hmm. That's good. She rolls and wiggles, she jumps and hops, playing with friends, the fun little <laughs> shops. That's a good sheep. Little Pig has a pudgy pink snap. With his curly whirly tail, he prances about. He rolls and snorts in the mud and the dirt at the end of the day. A hey, bath hey, wouldn't I hurt. Got I got it. Oh, that's a good pig. The day is done. Tomorrow there'll be time for more farm 